With Thanksgiving coming up, I thought it might be a really good idea to give you a very nice recipe for a good gravy. The ingredients for this are some oil, red wine, broth. I'm using chicken broth, but it tastes best with duck broth. So if you have some broth from your turkey, for example, you can use that. Then I have here some jam, and this is sour cherry jam from Germany that you might not get. So if you don't get something like that, you can just use any other jam that is dark and has a sweet and slightly tart taste, like blackberry spread or something the like. Then some tomato paste, garlic, a bay leaf, one of these nice cloves salt and pepper. Then for binding the sauce, you might want to have a little bit of cornstarch and some soy sauce sometimes comes in handy if you want to give the sauce a little bit of a darker color. Oh, and I almost forgot, you also need a little bit of an onion. I start with chopping the onion and the clove of garlic into very fine pieces. And I'm using my multi-function cook pot here again from AudiCook and it's so handy that I think you will see it more often in the future. So I'm heating the oil and it's already hot, it's really fast. And now I'm frying the onions and the garlic. And I wish you could smell this. This is the garlic that I smell right now, it's delicious. <laughs> I love this scent. Okay, it's already time to add some more ingredients. So first I'm adding the tomato paste and then the jam. I let this caramelize a little bit. You can see there are some cherries in here. The upper camera is probably a little bit foggy right now, but I think it will work. So time to add the wine. And a dry wine works best here. Okay. Here's the clove and the bay leaf will go in here. And now I let this boil and reduce to about half the amount that it has been before. You can see here that this is definitely very much reduced. And now I'm adding the chicken phone or chicken broth, whatever you can get your hands on. Give it a little bit of a mix. Now let me try how much salt and pepper I want to add. Mm -hmm. There needs to be some more. So the gravy has a really nice color already. I'm still adding a little bit of soy sauce, mostly for the color, but it also affects the salt contents of this recipe. So I will have to, you see it's darker now than before. Okay, now I can guess how much more salt I need to add here. Mm. This tastes perfect. Now, this is of course way too liquid and there's still some things swimming in there. So what's next? I have to put it through a sieve. goes back in here. Some people might think that it would be a good to, idea to use the immersion blender and just blend in everything except for the bay leaf and the clove, but then it would taste mostly like um, onion soup or onion sauce because the onions would take too much of the, of the taste. So I prefer to have it taste a little bit like wine and spice and, and a little bit of sweetness. I'm now heating it up again to bring it to a boil. And I'm mixing the cornstarch with a little bit of cold water. This will be used to bind 
the sauce, the gravy. And I'm always a bit careful with adding it because I don't want to turn this into a pudding. So I'll just add some and see how much it thickens. So let it boil for a minute and see how it reacts. Mm -hmm. It's thickening nicely, but it needs a little more, so I'm pouring in the remainder. And make sure you stir the, the, the gravy while you're putting in the cornstarch. And you can see it's much thicker now. And it tastes just heavenly. I can turn this off. The sauce can be made ahead like a day before and you can store it in the fridge and then reheat it the next day. I hope this helps you for your Thanksgiving. And I'm still in the fog here. <laughs> I hope this helps you for Thanksgiving for your dinner or lunch with your meal. And I have some more videos with gravies and sauces, but this one I think is especially good with the Bohemian dumplings, which is a different video that I'm about to publish. Thank you for watching and watch some more of my more than 200 videos. <laughs>